Good morning, y'all. Well, it's done it again. It has rained again for the third weekend in a row. On my days off, it has rained. It has been super hard to get out here and get this garden complete. So let's go in and see how my garden's doing on this rainy day. Well, here it is. The sunflowers are doing really good. But I want to show y'all something. Look at all the water. I didn't do this last time it rained. And my poor herbs, they are not liking all the rain. I've tried to get out here and plant them and it is just too mud too muddy but do y'all see how pretty my dahlias are aren't those gorgeous look it's a muddy mess i need to get out here and put hay in the walkways and i can't even hardly walk on the walkways it is just a muddy mess I love how these ground cherries are doing. Let's see if I can find one. Can y'all see that? That is a flower on the ground cherry. I can't wait to start getting those. No, my camera's a little wobbly, but that's because um, I'm trying to straddle these walkways. But look at the corn. I came down here and dug trenches to where the water would run off of my garden right there because boy this was flooded those i've replanted those holes right there i'm hoping they come up but who knows as much rain as we're getting they could probably be rotting in the ground i do feel like some of the plants are suffering This is a volunteer sunflower that I'm just leaving. I think it's beautiful. Whenever I say some plants are suffering, do you see how there's yellowing on my pepper plants? We really, really need a break from this rain where everything can dry out. I've worked so hard For everything to be big and beautiful and I really feel like they're going to suffer. I hope that they can all bounce back. But when you have water sitting like this. Mm, sometimes I think digging walkways like that wasn't really worth it. I'm going to come out here and kind of dig a ditch or a trench. To where it will kind of drain and not sit like that. Because I feel like maybe I've got some wash out right there on that bed. But y'all, I want to show you something. Years ago, Brandon came out here because he loves to grow elephant ears. And he planted, this is around where we had the fence from my other garden. He planted elephant ears. And they didn't come up last year. But do you see that? They are coming up. I'm guessing those are elephant ears. They may be lilies that I planted a few years ago, and they didn't come up last year. So, I don't know what that is. But these are my tomatoes. 
I mean, you can see they're getting a little bit of a little bit of uh, yellowing to them also. So I think even the sunflowers are kind of uh, having a problem. The real light green. We just, I mean, I'm thankful that we're getting rain because there's some years we don't get hardly any. But man, it is wreaking havoc on my garden for sure. This is my walkway that I need to get the archway trellises up to plant my. Red runner beans, my noodle beans, my kajari melons, and I have some um, butter beans I want to plant. But I can't because it's a muddy mess. Oh my goodness. And then we move over here. And this is my okra. Two days ago, my okra was doing amazing. Nothing was wrong with them. Do y'all see that? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to replant that okra. It is not doing good at all. Here is some more tomatoes. These seem to be doing okay. And this is the one that broke in that storm. So it looks like, and I was going to do a video on this, but do you see this leaf here? See how it looks like it's getting blight? A lot of times I come in here and I just trim up these leaves to try to stop that. So it looks like I need to come in here. And trim up my tomatoes. So I'll probably be doing a video on that. But since I have taped it up. It's got good growth. Again you can kind of see. There's a little bit of yellowing. I sure hope that it will bounce back. But I told my husband I wanted to get my trellises here this weekend because these plants they're probably going on two and a half feet tall so it's time they need to be trellised up because these posts sure are not going to hold them i mean this one down here is bigger than any of them that's another sunflower i'm probably going to leave <laughs> brandon and i love sunflowers but see, you can tell that I've had like a little trench to kind of trench it, the water. But oh, this is my walkway with the hay. Do you see this? Like I said, I don't know if me digging these walkways was, a, I don't know if digging these walkways was a smart idea. <laughs> but I've came in here and replanted, re, I've came in here and replanted these squash. And nothing is coming up. So I don't know. If nothing else, I guess I'll just have four squash in this bed. <laughs> instead of six. But when you get up here, it's dry. So I know that I've got some grade to my beds. There ain't nothing I can do about that. It's just the way the ground is. But here's these tomatoes. They look like they're doing better than some of them. Doing really well. Here is my sweet pepper bed. Again, you can kind of see yellowing of the plant. 
So I'm getting, you know, I'm worried. I mean, they're still doing good. Look at that one. It has a flower on it. So hopefully they'll bounce back. I really need to get down here and feed them. Like I try to, you know, fertilize them with liquid feed once a week. But there's no way. I can't because of all the rain. I can't give them water sol soluble feed. And then <clears throat> over here, I know a bunch of these seeds have been washed out. Nothing like this is supposed to be the end of my zinnias, so there's no seeds coming up there. This is supposed to be my giant coxcombs. You can tell it's barely, I mean, that one sprouted. You can see how they kind of got washed out. I don't have very good germination on my cox cones, so I need to get up down here and replant the seeds, but I'm going to have to wait until the rain kind of stops to maybe it won't wash those little, <clears throat> maybe it won't wash those little tiny baby seeds out. Here's my zinnias. They're doing a little bit better, but again, I still didn't get a whole lot. I mean, I've got some hose that didn't come up I need to replant this is that end of the bed that got washed out that I need to put more dirt in and replant those seeds so I just can't because it's just a muddy mess Grass is getting high and everything. We'll come over here and I'll show you the uh, lettuce beds. I am going to pick the lettuce and spinach today. I think I've almost let it get too big. But again, every day <laughs> it almost rains. and Or it's too muddy to get down here. And I'm just going to say, forget it. i got to get down here and get this stuff done. But y'all, isn't that beautiful? Do you see that lettuce and spinach? That is beautiful. And see, I need to get my cucumbers. My cucumbers were supposed to be on this side of the bed, down both sides of that bed, with an archway. And I'm not even planting my cucumbers. I don't know if I've missed the window of opportunity to do that or not here in Oklahoma. So I've really got to get on this. But my beets are doing amazing. But you can still see they're kind of suffering. There's a little bit of yellowing. And here is that volunteer tomato. I've just left it. I'm curious to see what it is. And my carrots, they were a bust. I got nothing. I mean, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carrots coming up. So, definitely going to have to try to do some of that for the fall. But my turnips, they're doing really well. But again, look, the yellowing. <laughs> Too much rain. I mean, there's not even no beets or not beets but turnips forming i don't know it's too much rain do you guys hear here this is my uh creek at the back of my property and usually it does not run like this it is moving fast and it looks like it's been higher than that I mean, it's beautiful, and I love hearing it, but you can tell we've gotten a ton of rain. Even the grapes, I mean, look, they're yellowing. These are usually so dark green, almost like forest green. 
Yep. They still have lots of grapes on them, though. Look at that. So, I guess that's okay. There's a ton of them back up in there. This bed right here where the radishes were, this is what I'm going to work on today, whether it's raining or not. I've got to get it cleaned up and got to get my cabbage in there. Today is going to be the day. In this bed right here, I think I have planned that I am pulling the lettuce out, which isn't that just gorgeous? Is that not gorgeous? I've almost let it go too much. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm pulling it out. I'm going to get this bed worked up. And I'm going to plant some really cool spinach from Baker Creek that is like lime green and purple. I can't even remember the name, but I'm super excited about that. I'm really happy about getting that done. All right, y'all. My potatoes are still doing really good. But this, the grass is growing again, and it's just mud, 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 mud. Well, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I was able to help somebody today that may just be going through the same thing I am. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.